Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I've got a huge VHS pickup for you. This is an extended version, so let's get let's get stuck in. Let's just sit down, relax, and let's go down memory lane together. So I'm going to start with a few box sets, um, and I, I really like box sets, you know. So I'm going to start with the Die Hard box set. So it comes in the Die Hard trilogy sleeve, Die Hard 1, 2, and 3. Obviously, 4 and 5 came out after VHS was a dead medium. But there's the three films right there. So really, really cool. Uh, I like the Die Hard trilogy. Moving on from that, we have a box set, Planet of the Apes. So it's the Planet of the Apes collection. Or, uh, the artwork is fantastic. Um, digitally mastered, apparently. So, you know... <laughs> Um, high-end VHS, I guess is what you would call these, but, you know, I'm a big fan of, of, of box sets, as I mentioned, and VHS tapes, uh, in general, so, I've experienced so many new movies to me that are so old, uh, and they're actually fantastic, and I really wish that I would have enjoyed them more, um, earlier in life. So, this is, uh, really close to me. I'm a big fan of the Alien movies, and we are looking at Alien. Alien Special Edition, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, The Alien Legacy. And this is a box set released by Fox. It's the 20th anniversary collection. This is all in Boston here. It's really, really well done. Uh, really, really well done. I'm, I'm a big fan of this set. And this, again, um, if you watch my previous VHS pickups video, this was given to me by Janice along with the... Die Hard trilogy, but this one means a lot to me. So, so again, I don't know if Janice is ever going to see this video, but thank you very, very much, Janice. I really appreciate that. Um, we've got some. I'll do Titans. A little bit of pickups here. So he had grabbed Veggie Tales, um, the cowboy one. So this is the Ballad of Little Joe. We've got Veggie Tales, Rack, Shack, and Benny. I don't know anything about Veggie Tales. This is the wonderful world of autotainment. So those are the three that Titan had picked up for himself um, at our local restore, uh, which basically is a, it's a thrift store, so to speak. Um, but you can fill a bag. So you fill yourself a plastic grocery bag for one dollar, which is pretty sweet. So I try to um, visit there often. Especially when you're getting deals like that. So, a lot of times I go with films I've never heard of. Um, and I am a big fan of the old westerns. So, this... How the West Was Won. Now, I, I have heard of this before. Never so much the film, but just heard it, you know, kind of earshot type deal. You know, How the West Was Won. And, and people are familiar with it. Now, I wasn't. Um, but I can say that I have watched it and... I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan. It, it made me a fan. Absolutely. Uh, another one is Castaway Cowboy. Have not watched this yet. But I did see James Garner was in it. I'm a fan of James Garner. And because I'm, you know, younger generation, I know James Garner from the film Maverick, where Mel Gibson plays Maverick. Um, and very well done. Mel Gibson, Jodie Foster, James Garner, and the, the whole cast was excellent. Martin Maverick's one of my favorite films, because uh, I also love to play poker. Um, but James Garner is actually the original Maverick from the television series. So, you know, you learn. And being a youngin', I'm sure people are watching this video going, wow, you didn't know that, you know. But hey, man, you know, I, I, I learned, and I'm a big fan. James Garner was great, especially in The Notebook. Um, so... We have the MASH movie. So this is like Donald Sutherland, Tom Skerritt, Elliot Gould. So, you know, how can you go wrong with a MASH movie? MASH was a television series my dad used to watch all the time when I was a kid, and I dreaded it. I would go in my room, play with Lego or something. I was not a MASH fan. And then I grew up. can definitely say I'm a fan. 
not just of this film, but the, the television series itself. Uh, another one here is, you know, a guy that is well known for being difficult to deal with, I guess you could say. Um, Funny Farm, Chevy Chase. So Chevy Chase, you know, National Lampoon's Vacation movies. Definitely Funny Farm, I would recommend. I really would. I think it's a really funny movie. Not a blockbuster, but a great movie to watch. This one here, I enjoy because I'm a huge John Goodman fan. Billy Crystal does a good job. Um, now, the Mike Wazowski is done, is done by Billy Crystal. I did not know that. Well, you learn something new every day. Monsters, Inc. So, Monsters, Inc., um, obviously done by Disney Pixar, as it says on the cover. Uh, John Goodman is one of my favorite actors. Roseanne's uh, show is one of my favorite shows of all time. Plus, you've got The Big Lebowski, which is just a phenomenal film. He played Babe Ruth excellently. He was Fred Flintstone excellently. And I'm, there's, I could go on and gush about John Goodman. Definitely one of my, my favorite actors. And Monsters, Inc. is something that I do enjoy. It's one of those kids' movies that I actually enjoy watching with my kids. And it's like, if they want to watch something I don't really like, I'm like, hey, hey, let's watch Monsters, Inc. And everyone's happy. So there's there's always a happy medium. So now I've got bags to go through here, guys. I told you this was going to be a long one. So I don't know if I'm going to go into depth with every single flick, but we'll get through this. So this is... Penny Promise? No idea what that's about. But I picked it up because it was 25 cents. Heath Ledger in A Knight's Tale. I'm um, in, you know, Heath Ledger's one person. I have to go in depth about this because I was not a fan of Batman Begins. And then I saw Heath Ledger play Joker in The Dark Knight and I was like, okay, I have to watch Batman Begins. I have to rewatch it. And Heath Ledger is the reason I watched it. Because I was always a firm believer, nobody's going to be Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Nobody. Nobody. Not, no, not to me. And guess what? Heath Ledger, I can't say he beat Nicholson. They're two different styles of movies, but I will say that he was definitely on par at worst. That he was on par and potentially he surpassed Jack Nicholson as the Joker. So, and that's my personal opinion. Post your hate comments down below. <laughs> um, another one I've never seen. Godzilla. I have never seen this. I've seen a lot of the older Godzilla movies with my dad, but I've never actually seen this particular one. Um, a Schwarzenegger movie, Sixth Day. Again, didn't even know it existed. I saw it and I'm like, Schwarzenegger? Really? I've never heard of the Sixth Day. Uh, this is a great film. Al Pacino, Robin Williams, Hilary Swank. We've got Insomnia. If you've never seen it, definitely give that movie a look. It is, it's a really good thriller. Um, and then the man himself, Clint Eastwood in Hang 'em High. This is a Clint Eastwood movie I have never seen. So, and I'm, I'm a big Clint Eastwood fan. Can't wait to watch this movie. I will be watching it probably within an hour after shooting this video. So, Oh, I can't. I when I found it, I'm like a Clint Eastwood movie I've never seen. I'm pretty excited. And then a comedy movie that I thought was all right, The Animal, but I picked it up. You know, I haven't seen it on VHS, and I look for VHSs on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, but almost. Uh, another good movie, John Travolta Phenomenon. So make sure you check that out. Um, it's actually a really good flick. Uh, one of John Travolta's better movies. Um, looks like I have a box set in here. I do. So I have the Indiana Jones trilogy before they came out with the Crystal Skulls. I know a lot of people knocked Crystal Skulls, but I was actually a fan of it. I'm just a big fan of the Indiana Jones series as it is. And I hope if they do another one that they bring Sean Connery back. But I don't think he's coming back because Sean Connery is... <sighs> Probably my favorite actor of all time. Um, but really, really nice artwork on the trilogy and everything like that. So, um, and I have this already and it's sealed. Now my dad, 
uh, had it. It was his, and he never wanted to open it. He always wanted to keep it sealed for whatever reason. And I still have it sealed. And when he passed away, I was like, I'm going to watch those in remembrance of him. But I thought to myself, no, I'm going to keep them sealed um, in remembrance of him. So now I have one that's open and I can I can enjoy this one and put it right next to the sealed one that will never be opened. Uh, this one here, Ed Norton, a great actor. I actually just watched the score with him and De Niro last night. And it's an excellent film. But this one is the 25th hour. I have not seen it. Now, um, Ebert and Roper gave it two thumbs up and four stars and all this good stuff. So it must be good. But I know Ed Norton's a good actor, so I can't wait to check that out. Um, another one I haven't seen, but I heard a lot about, you know, is uh, it looks like it's got Snoop Dogg, Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson. Starsky and Hutch. So I want to check that out for sure. Um, you know, they're funny guys. I, I like the Night at the Museum movies, so they do well together. And, you know, they're, they're no Kevin Smith and, and Jason Mewes, but they're funny. They are. <laughs> uh, Mystery Men. So I'm a big fan of Janine Garofalo. And again, Ben Stiller's in here as well. I'm a big fan of Janine Garofalo. I think she's an underrated actress, and I, I feel like she should have gotten more recognition. Um, and in Dogma, I, I'm a huge Kevin Smith man, but in Dogma, she should have played the lead role. Linda Fiorentino, I'm sorry, but uh, she was better for the part. Anyways, It's a Wonderful Life. So this is James Stewart and Donna Reed. This is the colorized version. So I've seen this film in black and white. I used to watch a lot of old movies with my dad. So definitely um, check out It's a Wonderful Life if you haven't seen it. Whether it's in color, black and white, either or. Trust me, it's a good film. It's a classic. Check it out. And it's not, I don't say, oh, could you guys got to watch this just because it's old. It's actually a good film. So I'm just going to clear the table here. All right, so now we have Angels in the Outfield. I'm a big fan of Angels in the Outfield. The reason why I grabbed this particular one was this is not the Danny Glover movie I was looking for. This is something else. And I, I was looking at it, and I'm like, okay, Paul Douglas, I don't know this one at all. So, Angels in the Outfield, is this the same as the other one, just a remake? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. That's why I grabbed it. Can't wait to actually watch it. Um, here we have 2001, A Space Odyssey. So, to me, it looks like a B-movie. Um, not familiar, you know, it, starring people I don't know. But, hey, if I've got time to kill, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, this one's starring another... Uh, great actress and I feel like she needs to make a comeback and that's Winona Ryder this one's how to make an American quilt I have heard good things about this film have never personally seen it so I cannot wait to check that out we're almost done bag number one here um, another I've seen so many of these guys, and they're hilarious, man. I used to watch this with my dad when I was a kid, and this is Mon Pa Kettle. So this is Mon Pa Kettle at home. Um, Mon Pa Kettle, if you're not from, they're just so funny. It, it's It just cracks me up. The old school humor, and even when I was a little guy, I used to laugh at this. My dad would put it on, and I would just chuckle. I thought they were so funny. Um, so here's Roger Moore as... 007 James Bond, A View to Kill. Um, I can't say that I was a huge fan of Roger Moore as James Bond, but to me, it'll always be Sean Connery as James Bond would be my favorite. And uh, it's just because I'm a huge Sean Connery fan. Um, and a little tidbit, my son, my youngest son, Mason, he got his Mason name from John Mason, which was Sean Connery's character's name in the movie The Rock. And Mason's middle name, is Connery. So he has two middle names. He, his name is Mason Connery George Harrison. Um, now, George was my dad's name. My dad's name was George Harrison. Same as the Beatle. Didn't have the same uh, bank account. 
Um, but moving on, we have Dog Day starring Lee Marvin. I don't know. It's a very simplistic cover. And I just thought to myself, you know what? Sometimes the simple things are the best things. So I'm going to check this out. Next up, we have Todd McFarlane's Spawn. So this is, you can see the cover changes as you move it, which I thought was really cool, like a hologram. Um, and the back is just plain, but I've never seen Spawn all the way through. Or if I have, I am just such a forgetful person that I don't remember seeing the entire film. Uh, last is a sealed copy of Twister. I already have Twister. Um, we can get some VO5, three bucks off, sweet. Um, now, Helen Hunt is a, a, sorry, I don't mean to ruffle the bag. Helen Hunt's an amazing actress, and this film itself is just incredibly well done. Um, I do have two other copies of Twister, but when I saw a sealed copy for 25 cents, I was not passing it up. No way. So that is it for bag number one. Let's move on to bag number two, and it's even bigger. So, there are some films in here that I've never heard of. One being Keanu Reeves in Hardball. Not familiar at all. Um, now, I do have a copy of Pretty Woman. I got this copy because it was in much better condition than the previous copy I already own um so i grabbed that and that's a really good movie too it's it's a chick flick but it's a really good movie um the mask of zorro can't go wrong antonio banderas anthony hopkins now bruce willis richard gear i i i didn't even know this movie was available I, I i never heard of this and i bet you a lot of you have already seen it many many times or you're like well how did you not know but the jackal didn't know it was a thing picked it up today thought to myself hey i have to see it both those guys are great actors um what do we have we have fast and the furious uh i'm a fan of the franchise not a not a huge fan but i'm a fan and i know my wife is as well so we could watch this and enjoy this together this one here i think is very very funny and i think jack nicholson stole the show on this one uh sandler's a funny guy but jack nicholson is you just can't top jack he's so great at what he does um and so i picked that up uh this one here i'm just a fan of all three of the big names i've never seen the movie all the way through this is stepmom uh you got julia roberts susan sarandon ed harris so i'm a big fan of all three of those people so I definitely picked that up, and I can't wait to watch that as well. Uh, we have Freddy vs. Jason, which I have seen all the way through. It was actually the very first DVD I ever bought, because DVD was a new thing. I didn't know what I wanted, and I was like, ooh, Freddy vs. Jason sounds so cool. Um, and so I went, and, I went ahead and picked that up. Um, I got Men in Black. Now, I already have a copy of Men in Black. I even have a backup copy, so I guess it would be my third or fourth copy. Uh, but this one's sealed. So, for $0.25, cents, well, I'm going to buy a sealed copy. Absolutely. Uh, next up, we have Play It to the Bone. This is Woody Harrelson and Antonio Banderas. Um, you could rent it for $0.99. Cents. I only paid $0.25 cents to buy it. Uh, but definitely, this is a good boxing movie. Check that out. I'm a huge fan of the Rocky films. So, Play It to the Bone was actually something where I'm like, ah, it's probably not that good. But it actually was a really good boxing movie. Um, but second to the Rocky movies, I can't wait to find this on VHS, is Gladiator. Brian Dennehy, Cuba Gooding Jr. I cannot remember the main character's real name. Not Gladiator with Russell Crowe, but a boxing movie called Gladiator. I paid, I think, 16 or $26, I can't remember which, for the DVD that I found on Amazon from a third-party seller way back when. And I was so excited to get it. And now, I'm on the hunt for the VHS. Um, so, Big Daddy, you know, this is a great movie. It's so funny. Um, just a, a really well-done cast of characters. And I'm a big fan of Big Daddy, so I definitely recommend I, I'm sure most people have seen this, but if you haven't, definitely check it out. Or if you have it laying around, you know what, spend the time and watch. Uh, congratulations, it's a boy. 
So a film I've never heard of, but I am familiar with Bill Bixby and Tom Bosley. So I thought to myself, okay, well, I, I've never heard of this flick. I definitely want to check this out. So I'm definitely going to give that a look. Uh, another one here we have from Fred Astaire. And this is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. So not too familiar with this as either, but with Christmas just around the corner, I'm sure me and my boys and my wife will all have a good time watching this film. Um, another one is the Marx Brothers. This is uh, Room Service. So this has Lucille Ball, Ann Miller, and Frank Albertson. I know most people would be familiar with either the Marx Brothers and Lucille Ball, but you may not be familiar with Ann Miller and Frank Albertson. But I definitely tell you, you know, in my opinion, you should give it give it a look. It you know it's it's really really well done. Um, so we have the Jetsons movie, which I was a huge fan of when I was younger. So glad to have that. Not in the greatest condition, I will admit. It's got some tearing, but you know what? I buy these to watch them. I don't buy them hoping that VHS will magically become, you know, priceless. <laughs> um, and then the Beverly Hillbillies. This is this is their Christmas, Christmas in Hooterville. <laughs> so I have never seen the Beverly Hillbillies Christmas special. So I, I can't wait to check this out because I am a fan of the Beverly Hillbillies. Um, Here's another one we have. It's Michael Douglas in Don't Say a Word. And I remember the the trailer will always stick with me because Brittany Murphy was, you know, I'll never tell. Uh, and the movie was pretty good from what from what I remember. I don't remember it being great, but I remember it being pretty good. Um, and then we have Phenomenon. So I'm pretty sure I showed you this already. I may have bought in two copies. Um... But I just, you know, for 25 cents, it is what it is. So I'll cl quickly just clear the table on this gigantic bag of, of movies. There we go. All right. Next, we have Psycho. So this is the Alfred... Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Um, now, if you're familiar with the Vince Vaughn version, this is the original, the black and white Psycho. Um, now, Vince Vaughn version is really well done, and I have no complaints about it. Um, this one as well, you definitely want to check out. I know a lot of people aren't into black and white films, but you know what? Clerks is the one that made me get back into black and white films, and I absolutely enjoy black and white films as well as color. So, but... It's just my personal preference to each their own. Alright, so we have Anne of Green Gables. And I picked this up. It was sealed copy. Now, I'll never watch this unless I get an opened copy. Because I won't open a sealed VHS. Yes, a lot of people that may bother. But to me, that is just how I roll. Um, we have Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery. Now... As I mentioned, I'm a huge Sean Connery fan. So why have I never seen Highlander? I don't know, but I haven't. Um, and luckily it's not sealed because I am going to watch this very, very soon. Cannot wait to see this film. Christopher Lambert, I was introduced to as Raiden in the first Mortal Kombat movie, which I'm a big fan of to this day. Um, and Sean Connery, obviously, I'm a huge fan. So this is the Highlander Director's Cut, which means I'm going to get some extra scenes, but I wouldn't even notice the difference because I've never actually seen the the, the actual film. Um, this movie, I don't know why I grabbed it. It was just part of the 25 cent, you know, but behind the waterfall. So it doesn't include anyone that I'm aware of, um, but it is something that I'll definitely check out. And this is how you find hidden gems. You just pick it up and you're like, oh, wow, you know what? I read the back. That sounds interesting. I'm going to grab it. And it may be a hidden gem. It, it could be a junker. It could be a waste of my hour and a half or however long the film is. But definitely, you know, I, I won't pass it up just because I've never heard of it. And we've got some clamshell movies right after... So we got clamshell movies after we see Total Recall. So Total Recall, I believe I own probably, I'm going to say three, four, potentially five copies. It's just one of those films that I really, really enjoy. 
And sometimes when I'm out and I'm collecting, I forget what I own sometimes. And then when I get home, I'll look at my collection and be like, oh, I already have that. So, I don't know. Total Recall. Can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, the newer Total Recall, I believe it was Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, Jessica Biel. Uh, it was okay. Not as good as this. So, here is the Angels in the Outfield. This is the Angels in the Outfield that I'm familiar with. Danny Glover, Tony Danza, Christopher Lloyd. This is the movie that I'm aware of, that I'm a big fan of. So when I go back and I check out the other version, number one, I'm going to see if it's pretty much the same or if it's entirely a different movie, just that ha so happen to have the same name. Sorry about the dog barking. Um, this one I've never heard of. Like, I've heard of the Three Musketeers before, but I've never heard of the movie. And this is Charlie Sheen, Keeper... Kiefer Sutherland, Chris O'Donnell, Oliver Platt, Tim Curry, and Rebecca De Mornay. I know all of those names. So I picked that up as well. Um, and then we all know Eddie Murphy as Dr. Doolittle. And I wonder if many people are familiar that Samantha Egger, Rex Harrison, hey, Rex Harrison hacks, um, and Anthony Newley was in the original Dr. Doolittle. Because I didn't know. I really, really didn't know. So we are on the final bag. This one is not as large. So we can quickly just run through these. And let's keep taking a trip down memory lane. So we've got Austin Powers Gold Member. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Mike Myers. I Ever since Wayne's World. Well, Saturday Night Live really. But Wayne's World on if you're talking about movies. Um... Racing Stripes, never heard of it, but I'll definitely watch it. Horton Hears a Who, my boys are going to love this, I, I really, I believe so, I do. I have two copies of Crocodile Dundee, have never found Crocodile Dundee 2 until now, there it is, and lucky for me, it's just in great condition. It does have the Goodwill sticker on the back, I did pay a dollar for this one at Goodwill, I paid the full dollar, and... I leave my stickers on. I don't try and tear them off. I might wreck the cardboard. And I got it from Goodwill. Support your local Goodwill. Support your thrift stores. I'm uh, I'm a proud supporter. Whether you're donating or purchasing from them, everything is, is helpful. Shrek 2. Shrek 2 is very, very well done. I'm a big fan of Shrek 1. I think it's the best one done. But Shrek 2 is very good as well. Here is one on... Honestly, I knew Emma Thompson and, An and Andy Garcia. Wasn't sure about this film. It's a sealed copy. It's called Dead Again. So what really caught my attention about this was you can see that they're, they're in color. They're in black and white. And so I'm hoping this film goes from black and white to color as I would, it seems depicted on the, the artwork of the box. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, Cuba Gooding Jr., we have Instinct, never seen it. Uh, a sealed copy of The Avengers. So this is Sean Connery, Uma Thurman, and Ralph Fiennes. I don't know who that is. Um, so I've never seen this. But, you know, I was like, Sean Connery in an Avengers movie? How could I not know of this? So I definitely want to watch this very, very soon. Um, we have Down to Earth with Chris Rock. Uh, a couple of Jackie Chan films, the double, so you get uh, New Fist of Fury and Snake Fist Fighter. We have a sealed copy of the Bridges of Madison County, so this is Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep. Um, and to be quite honest, I have never seen it, and I'm a Clint Eastwood fan, so I definitely got to check it out. Uh, we have Frank Capra's Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. So another flick I've never seen that I want to check out. And it's an older one, black and white. But uh, I'm a fan of, you know, whether it's black and white, color, it doesn't matter to me. It's the content of the film and how it makes me feel while I'm enjoying the experience of it. Uh, I have one more, which is Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. So another one I've never seen, and definitely going to check that out very soon. Um, and we're down to the final four. So we have Michael with Andy McDowell, John Travolta, William Hurt. Never seen it, um, but definitely want to check it out. Here's one called Below. 
I don't know what below is all about. Not entirely sure. Um, now, Christopher Lloyd, Kathleen Turner in Baby Geniuses. Uh, Baby Geniuses, I had the second one, was looking for the first one. So I, I finally found it, got to pick it up. And uh, I was really glad that I got to pick it up. Because I'm one of those people. I won't watch the second one until I have the first one. I have to watch them in order. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But that's just the way it goes for me. Um, and then we have George of the Jungle. So this is... Um, this is a really funny movie. If you haven't seen George of the Jungle, definitely check that out. Um, it's just... It's just a, a Brendan Fraser film, but it, it's really funny and family friendly, and I, I recommend checking that out. Um, so, and I also ended up with some Betamax. Now, one film, but so I found a Betamax video head cleaner, the Clean Matic. And I was like, okay, like, I mean, I'll grab it. So if you're not familiar with Betamax, this is what the tapes look like. So if I were to pull out a VHS tape, here's a VHS tape, there's the Betamax tape. So you can see the difference there. Um, but I did get the head cleaner in the box. And you know what? It's part of my collection. Uh, it is missing the liquid, but no big deal. The box is in excellent condition. So, pretty cool. Um, and I also got a really good movie that I don't think I own on VHS. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance, and the Sundance Kid. So, this is a Betamax version. Um, this is starring Paul Newman, Robert Redford, Kathleen, Catherine Ross. Sorry. Um, but this, I mean, to me, it almost looks like a, um, an 8-track cassette. And then we go inside, and there, there it is right there. Excellent condition. The box is in excellent condition. Whoever donated this, thank you so much. I paid 25 cents for this, and I will cherish this 100%. I do not have a Betamax player right now, but I will be getting one in the near future as soon as I find one as, at a decent price. Um, but that is this extended version down memory lane for the VHS pickups, uh, including Betamax. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're not a patron, please consider being a patron. It keeps my channel going and keeps me move, moving forward to make more enjoyable content for all of you. But most importantly, have a good day.